Matthew 26, 28 says, For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sin. There cannot be any remission of sin without the shedding of the blood of Jesus. When Jesus was beaten, he shed his blood. When he was whipped with a cat of nine tails, his blood was shed for you to go to the healing in your soul of every sin that would wound you. When Jesus took the nails in his hands and in his feet, the blood was poured out for you and for the healing of your souls. You're being nourished right now, refreshed, strengthened in your soul by the blood. It is going to every sin. Saturate. Saturate. Saturating your soul. Nourishing you right now. Refreshing your soul. Strengthening you by removing the sin in your soul right now. Right now, I feel the anointing, the power of the blood doing what the blood does, cleansing you of the sin right now, removing every block so that the light and the glory can come in, causing you freedom in every area of your soul where there is sin right now. Hebrews 13, 12 says Jesus sanctified us with his blood. That word sanctify, it means to purify internally by renewing the soul. Your soul is being purified of its sin right now in the name of Jesus. Right now, purify the sin, purify by the blood being purified by the blood of Jesus. Removing every hindrance that would come against us. Lust, perversion, coveting, anger, dissension, strife, division, idolatry, idolatry. Every sin, every sin, offense, all offenses, all unforgiveness, Jesus, all worry, all fear, healed right now. Those sins removed by the blood. Leviticus 17 says, For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul. The word atonement refers to the covering over of sin. Jesus on the cross washed away the sin in your soul. The blood is for the atonement of your soul. It is for the cleansing, the cleansing tide, the crimson tide flowing out from the cross right now. It is the first part of your inheritance for the healing of your soul. You're receiving it deep in the layers of your soul, saturating you, saturating you, saturating you to the deepest part, removing even the toughest, most difficult hindrances and sins because the blood is all powerful. Nothing can stop the blood from washing us clean and purifying us of our sin. 1 John 1, 7 says, And the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanses us from all sin. All sin, it says. All sin is being cleansed right now in your soul by the blood. It's your inheritance. I release the blood of Jesus into your soul. 
I release it. I release it in Jesus' name. I release the blood of Jesus into your soul. I release it. I release it in Jesus' name. Revelations 1.5 says, And Jesus Christ, the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, receive the washing. Pouring out from the sacrifice of Jesus at Golgotha, at Calvary. His sacrifice, paying the payment for the sin that has wounded your soul. I decree it right now. Freedom. Freedom from sin. In the name of Jesus. Now let's focus on the wounds and the images those sins made. First, let's release your inheritance of the glory light. Malachi 4.2 says, The Son of Righteousness, meaning Jesus, arises with healing in his wings, his glory, and his beams of light. His glory and his light are being released upon you right now. Going to the deepest parts of the nature of your soul. Going to every wound and every image inside your soul that is causing you sickness, disease, disorder, and lack. That is sabotaging your relationships, your ministry, your businesses. Right now, his glory and his light. I decree it. It is arising on you with healing. It is arising on you with healing. You are being healed by the glory and the light. You are being what healing means. Mar pay. Sound of mind. Sound of mind. Your mind, which is part of your soul, is becoming filled with the glory and the light being saturated in every wound and every image inside your soul, connected to your mind, that's connected to your will, that's connected to your emotions. Right now, you're becoming what Marpe means, healed and healthful and sound of mind. Marpe, I say to you. I decree over you, Marpe. Marpe. Be made sound of mind by Jesus and his glory and his light. I decree you are becoming Rafa, healed of your personal distresses. I speak to every personal distress that's inside your soul, every wound and every image. And I command you be healed by the glory and the light. Be healed by the glory and the light. Be healed by the glory and the light. I command these two powers to completely go into your temple and saturate your soul. That you would become what 2 Corinthians 18 says, that you would be transformed into his image, into his likeness, from glory to glory. Yes, into his image into his image, his very image being burned upon your soul because he is the image of the invisible God. He is the radiance of God's glory that as you behold him, as you meditate on him, as you look at him with your eyes and think about him in your mind, the light and the glory coming from him will literally fill your soul and burn away every image of every idol and burn a new image of him into your soul and you will be transformed into his image from glory to glory. You're starting now. The transformation is happening. You're being filled with his glory and his light 
being transformed into who he is with his character and his nature, his image, not the image of evil, of images of idols or wounds that would pervade you, but of his image right now ministering to you, wiping out every image and every wound that's hiding inside your soul. Be hidden no more. Nothing can hide from the light. Nothing can hide from the glory. Psalm 57 1 says, Be merciful unto me, O God. Be merciful unto me, for my soul trusteth in thee. Yea, in the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge. I decree right now you're under the shadow of the wings. You're covered with the glory. Your soul is finding refuge there. That's where your soul is trusting in Him. Because it's the place right now where you're laying right now, under the cloud, under the presence of the glory. And you're being transformed while you're in the shadow. You're being healed in your soul while you're in the shadow. You're being changed in your soul because you're in the shadow right now. You're being covered over with the blanket of glory, with the power of glory to change you, cause you to be sound of mind, to be healed of your personal distresses for every image and every wound to be ministered to and removed because you're under the shadow of the wings, the glory of Jesus. He's the king of glory. He's filling you, covering you, saturating you right now. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 63 says, Because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul follow hard after thee. You're remaining focused right now. Your soul is focused on him. And as you continue to put your faith in the power of his glory and his light, then your soul is in the shadow right now. Your soul falling hard after God, after Christ, and you're under the shadow of thy wings. Therefore, it says, therefore will you rejoice because God has been your help. You're being helped right now. You're being healed right now. You're being ministered to right now under the shadow of your soul is there, being filled, saturated, 